Hey folks, welcome to the Master That Riff lesson. Today we're going to look at Busted from Steve Vai from his new uh, kind of album Vai Gash, where he's released a lot of kind of tracks he recorded with a biker friend of his who unfortunately kind of passed away. So it's a kind of short, the kind of EP kind of album, but lots of really cool kind of fun. Uh, kind of driving kind of tracks on it and the second track busted really caught my ear because it has this kind of swing feel to it a little bit reminds me a little bit of kind of radar love so i'm in standard tuning for this the riff is predominantly in a kind of f sharp minor and what it starts with here is this kind of unison bend lead in so what i'm going to be playing here is three unison bends and the way i always think of unison bends is where my, my first finger is so if you're thinking your F sharp minor here, you're kind of starting on that fifth there. So what I'm going to do is first finger is the second fret of that B string, and I'm going to bend a whole step with the third finger on the G string of the fourth fret there. I support it with the middle finger as well. Now the thing to watch out for, of course, if you're playing your unison bend on a guitar with Floyd or a trem, as you bend that string, that string's going to go down in pitch ever so slightly. So you have to kind of move both strings but you put a bit of vibrato on the top of that as well to give it a little bit more of a kind of a kind of singing quality so that's our unison bend so we're orientating it from the first finger it's second fret fifth fret then seventh fret okay then i'm going to do fifth fret seventh fret and then jump up jump up to the twelfth fret here Okay. Now there's another guitar part that sounds like it's playing an octave above, so you'd be thinking about unison bends here, maybe at the first finger at the ninth fret. Now I need to reach to the twelfth fret here to bend up to that same note. So it'd be ninth fret, twelfth, fourteen, and then twelfth, fourteen, and then way up to the nineteenth fret there for the top one. But I've decided to can play the lower part. And then we have a good old slide pick scrape down before we get into the riff. So as I said, this is all based around F sharp and minor. So you can think of this F sharp pentatonic minor down here. And the first bar, well, first thing I want to say is obviously we're now into kind of the high tempo. It's about 196 BPM ish, something like that. And we've got the swing feel to it. So again, so many of these riffs with the swing feel, you're thinking of two eighth notes, and where you would have one and two, and it's one and two and three and four. So even though I'm playing, I'm feeling that kind of feel to these notes. But what he does first off is he doesn't kind of do any pull-offs. And I'm going to do 4-2 in the D string to begin with. Then 4 in the A string, back to 2nd fret in the D string. Then I'm going to do... Yeah, so this is where the swing feels a bit easier. I'm going to play 4-0 pull-off. But on the D string here, but the the first note, the fretted note, is longer than the open string. So I do four zero, then two zero, then I'm going to play four on that A string, then I go to the root note, second fret the E string with the first finger, playing a vibrato. So those two bars kind of sound like this. Yeah. Then we're going to play it again. So this time he plays the 4-2 in the D string. Then I'm going to do a pull off 4-0 on the A string. Then I'm going to play 2nd fret of that A string, but I'm anticipating this E power chord. So play 2nd fret of the A string. And then I'm going to play that E power chord. So that kind of happens in the end of beat 4 there. You may want to do it on upstroke if that feels a bit easier. Uh, and that sustains. And then you can play the open E and B strings on the kind of, um, I guess it'd be a D and. Yeah, watch well, you don't hit the other strings, just the top two. So those two bars slowly sound like this. Then we repeat it again pretty much, but this time we're getting a little bit more swing with it. So we'll do 4 2 in the D string. And it sounds like he's kind of got the 4 0 2 0 here. Um, but it might, because of the speed of it, just kind of go to like a dead string, but you've got that feel of a... But you might just kind of... Yeah, but he does the four pull off, two pull off in the D string. Then we've got this. 
So what I'm going to go up to here is fourth fret of the B string. I'm going to play it with a pinch harmonic. Do a whole step bend up and down. Open G string, and then second fret of the G string, fourth fret of the D string. You may want to dig in to those notes as well, so they pop with some kind of pinch harmonics. And pitch wise, I'm kind of up a bit here, just between my two pickups. Then we have the concluding little part of it. I'm going to do a pull of four to zero in the D string. Second fret of the D string, four, zero pull off in the A string, and then I'm anticipating the E power chord again. So for the second fret of the A string, and then the E power chord, and then it goes. Plays like an E power chord up kind of this area here, yeah. So those kind of last two bars kind of go. So the whole thing slowly sounds like this. There's a little overdub part as well, where you hear a bend, like 15th fret of the B string. So you're kind of on that E chord and you're bending up to kind of like the minor 7. Plays that again, and then he goes up to the 17th fret and you're bending up to the root note of F sharp here. And you slide off. So that little overdub, overdub's kind of like... And then you slide off, and then you need to kind of reverse. And that's it. So it's really cool, as I said, I get major kind of radar love vibes off this. I don't know if that's what Vi was aiming for when they were doing this. As I said, they wrote these songs just as something to listen to when they're riding about in their Harleys, you know. So it's just straight ahead, fun kind of rock stuff. So if you've not checked out the Vi Gash album, go and check it out. I've been really enjoying it. Uh, if you want access to the Guitar Pro tab for this, or even the animated tab, come on over to uh, the Master of the Guitar Patreon group. You've got access to that as well as the Helix patch I use for this, plus tone tips, and loads of other stuff, all the previous lessons we've got in there. And there's also exclusive lessons that you won't see on YouTube specifically for Patreon. And I've got plans this year to launch something new in Patreon, so if you want to come over and check, see what that is, uh, check it out, come on over. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook as well, and I'm also on Instagram. So thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy that riff, and I'll see you next time.